Hello guys, here we are with another session on aromatic substitution reactions. In the previous sessions, we have discussed a few examples on aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions. Those reactions were being carried out on an unsubstituted benzene ring. Today, we will focus on the aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions on a substituted benzene ring. So as you have seen in the previous videos that benzene ring can undergo electrophilic substitution reactions pretty much easily. But if we have a substituted benzene ring, it can still undergo electrophilic substitution reactions because it still has five available positions. The substituent that is already present on the benzene ring will affect the reactivity of the ring towards the second substitution or the third substitution and it also directs the incoming electrophile at a particular site in the ring. So there are two effects, two major effects of the already existing substituents on the benzene ring. That is the reactivity and the directing effect. So the substituent that is present already on the benzene ring will affect the reactivity towards further substitution and it will also direct the second electrophile, the second incoming electrophile towards a specific site in the ring. And we will see in a couple of minutes time how the substituent already present on the ring affects second substitution. So let's see the effect of this substituent on the reactivity of the benzene ring towards second electrophilic substitution reaction. The substituent that is already attached to the benzene ring can be of two types. It might be an electron withdrawing group such as a nitro group or an acyl group or it may be an electron donating group for example an amino group or an alkyl group which itself is a weak electron donating group. This electron withdrawal or electron donating effect could be because of the inductive effect or the mesomeric effect of the groups attached to the benzene ring. This electron withdrawing effect or the electron donating effect of the substituent that is present on the benzene ring, it affects the reactivity of the ring towards the second electrophilic substitution reactions. And we will see in the next slide how the reactivity is affected. Now, if we have an electron donating group already present on a benzene ring, if we have a second electrophile that is going to be attached to the already substituted benzene ring, this electron donating group by nature donates electron density to the benzene ring. And this electron donating effect will stabilize the carbocation that is formed during the attack of the second electrophile. You already know from the general mechanism of electrophilic substitution reactions on aromatic rings that when the electrophile is attacked by the pi electrons from the ring, a carbocation is formed in the sigma complex. That carbocation is stabilized by the electron donating group already present on a substituted benzene ring. So when the carbocation is stabilized, it lowers the activation energy that is required for the formation of the first transition state. And when the activation energy is lowered, it favors the formation of the carbocation, which of course now is relatively stabilized because of the electron donating effect of the electron donating group. So when the activation energy is lowered, the reaction will be much faster and more efficient. It means that the presence of an electron donating group on the benzene ring activates this ring for further electrophilic substitution reaction. So let's see this with the help of an example. If we are going to perform electrophilic substitution reactions on anilin, anilin, you know, is a benzene ring that is being substituted with an NH2 group. Here you can see this carbon nitrogen bond which of course is polarized because of the higher electronegativity of nitrogen and inductively this NH2 group is electron withdrawing. 
but you also know that we have a lone pair present on the nitrogen atom and this lone pair could be delocalized over to the ring an effect which we call the mesomeric effect or the resonance effect so inductively this NH2 group is electron withdrawing but mesomerically it is electron donating in this way and here you can see when the lone pair is involved in resonance with the pi electrons of the benzene ring a negative charge is established on the ring at the ortho position here now because it brings instability at this position it, this carbon will try to share this negative charge with the carbon present next to it and as a result this pi bond is shifted towards this carbon generating a negative charge here which is then shifted here generating a negative charge here and so on so what we see now is that the electron density increases in the ring because of the positive m effect or the positive mesomeric effect of the aniline and you know that the mesomeric effect here is more dominant as compared to the inductive effect so nh2 has a plus m and a minus i effect and the plus m effect is dominant so it means that overall this nh2 group is electron donating group and because it donates electron density to the ring it stabilizes the carbocation that will be formed by the attack of the second electrophile now let's see the directing effect of the electron donating group so if we have an electron donating group already attached to the benzene ring how it will direct the second electrophile as we have discussed earlier that this electron donating group increases electron density at ortho and para position you have seen from the resonance structures uh, seen in the previous slide that the electron density increases at the ortho and para positions of the ring because a negative charge is established at these, these two positions the meta positions are untouched they are not affected by the electron donating effect of the NH2 group in the previous example but the ortho and para positions get a negative charge so it means that the ortho and para positions are more electron rich as compared to the meta position so the ring will be happy to attack from these two positions the two ortho positions and the para positions on the second electrophile so the incoming electrophile will be happy to be attached to these two positions and that is why we call these electron donating groups as ortho or para directing groups let's see this again with the help of an example that is aniline again in this case and we have the same resonance structures as you can see here so a negative charge is established at ortho and para position that means the electron density is higher at these positions and the second electrophile will be directed towards ortho and para position by an electron donating group now let's see the effect of an electron withdrawing group let us first see the effect on the reactivity so if we have an electron withdrawing group attached to the benzene ring it will withdraw electron density from the ring and that will in turn destabilize the carbocation of the sigma complex that is formed after attack of the second electrophile and when this carbocation is destabilized it increases the activation energy that is required for the formation of the first transition state so it actually is disfavoring the formation of the carbocation and that means that the electron withdrawing group deactivates the ring for further electrophilic substitution because if the carbocation is destabilized it will be formed reluctantly or with a slower pace so the ring is said to be deactivated for further electrophilic substitution reaction if it already has an electron withdrawing group let's see an example of nitrobenzene nitrobenzene has a nitro group attached to the benzene the nitrogen here is obviously more electronegative so inductively it is electron withdrawing and it also is mesomerically electron withdrawing group 
So the overall effect is an electron withdrawal from the ring. And you can see here as a result, we have the generation of a positive charge at ortho and para positions. So when the ring is deactivated, when the ring is electron deficient, it means that the second electrophile will not be much happier to attach or you can say that the ring will not be much happier to attack on a second electrophile. That means the, the rate will fall down and the ring is said to be deactivated towards second electrophilic substitution reaction. Now let's see the directing effect of electron withdrawing group. Let us repeat the point again that this electron withdrawing group decreases the electron density at ortho and para positions. And you have already seen from the resonance structures that the metal positions are untouched. They are neither electron richer, neither electron deficient because of the resonance effect of the electron withdrawing group. And because the ortho and para positions are now relatively electron deficient, so the meta position will be more available for attack on the second electrophile. And so the electron withdrawing groups are usually known as the meta directing groups because they direct the second electrophile towards the meta position. And you can see these positive charges generated at ortho and para positions. Now let's see the directing effect from another angle. And for this, we will evaluate the different resonance structures that are possible from attack at ortho, meta or para positions on the benzene ring if it already has an electron donating group or an electron withdrawing group. So we will see all the possibilities and then analyze the resonance structures that will be formed as a result. So let's see the attack of an electrophile in the presence of electron donating group. And we will see the attack at all three positions at ortho, meta and para positions. So we have this phenol here. Oxygen is electronegative, so it will withdraw electron density inductively, but mesomerically it is electron donating and its overall effect is electron donating because its plus M effect is much stronger or dominant as compared to its minus I effect. So this OH group is electron donating in this case. Now let us suppose that this electrophile is attacked from the ortho position. So it gets attached here and we have a positive charge generated at the meta position which will through resonance change it, its position inside the ring. And here we have a positive charge generated here and you can you already know that we have the lone pairs on oxygen. So these lone pairs will try to stabilize this positive charge and they are shared between carbon and oxygen and so we have another resonance structure formed in this form. Now let's see the attack of this electrophile from the meta position. If this electrophile gets attached to the meta position, we have the formation of a positive charge or a carbocation here which will again through resonance change its position throughout the ring. And here we have three resonance structures possible. Now let's see the attack from the para position. Again, if the electrophile is attacked from the para position, we have this carbocation here which changes its position throughout the ring again. And again, we have such type of a structure in which it is on the carbon atom that is attached to oxygen. So the oxygen will be happy to share its lone pair with this carbon forming a double bond and a fourth resonance structure is formed. And now you can see that when the electrophile is attacked from the ortho or para position, we have the formation of a fourth resonance structure. And this is the resonance structure in which all the atoms inside this structure have a complete octet. If you analyze the rest of the structures in yellow color, you will see that one of these atoms will not have a complete octet. For example, this carbon atom here has formed three bonds, two with the carbons and one with the hydrogen, so it has six electrons. So its octet is incomplete. But if you analyze this structure, 
you will find that despite the fact this oxygen has a positive charge its octet is complete because it has formed three bonds and that means six electrons and a lone pair is still present on oxygen so its octet is complete and so is the octet for rest of the atoms inside the ring and this is true for this structure also so when we have such a structure in which the octet is complete it we say that it is a more stable structure and this is only possible if the attack on the electrophile is from the ortho or para position and that is why if we have an electron donating group present on the ring it will fancy attack on the electrophile from the ortho or para position rather than the meta position now let's see if we have an electron withdrawing group and the second electrophile attacks from ortho meta or para position now here is an electron withdrawing group attached to benzene ring and it attacks the electrophile from ortho position forming this carbocation here which again is resonance stabilized right then we have the attack from meta position and again we have a carbocation that is resonance stabilized and finally we have the attack from para position which forms a carbocation again that is resonance stabilized now let's analyze these nine resonance structures that are formed from attack by at ortho meta and para position now if the attack is from ortho or para position we have the possibility of the formation of a resonance structure that has a carbocation directly attached to the nitro group which is an electron withdrawing group so this structure in white here and this structure in white here has a carbocation on the ipso carbon that means it is on the carbon that is directly attached to the nitrogen or the nitro group and you already know that nitrogen is an electron withdrawing group so an electron withdrawing group will destabilize this carbocation which means that the formation of this resonance structure is not favored so in turn the attack from ortho and para position is not favored while from meta attack we don't see such type of a carbocation so if we have an electron withdrawing group it will attack or it will be happy to attack the second electrophile from the meta position so here we have discussed the effect of an electron withdrawing group and electron donating group on the reactivity of the benzene ring towards further substitution and also the directing effect of these groups have been discussed with the help of examples i hope it helps you in understanding this topic see you next time with some more video lectures in organic chemistry thank you so much for watching and stay tuned